It's only 1.30, but it has been a day. I had to go get lab work done for reasons that are unclear to me. Um, my mom wanted me to get like a lipid panel. I don't know, they like test you to make sure that you're not dying as an adult. Let me just say that I do not enjoy being an adult from what I've experienced so far. It just seems like a rapid cycle of drinking coffee and just pooping everywhere and then that repeats. So I had to get my blood drawn, which um, in the past has been a challenge. Uh, last year at the start of school I had to get my blood drawn and I just remember sitting in the chair and telling the woman, this makes me nervous. And then she kept asking me like, are you okay? Because I guess I was seeming a little iffy. Um, I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I was trying to like power through passing out basically <laughs> and then I wake up and I'm in this chair and there are like 15 new people there. I guess I'm just susceptible to passing out um, or just really squeamish. In high school I took this sports medicine class and it's nearing the end of class and we've been talking about ankle sprains. It was like maybe the second or third day of class. Literally the only justification I can give for why this happened is that I've had ankle problems in the past and so I'm like not feeling well and the teacher just keeps saying the word ligament and I'm just like, oh god. And then I went to the bathroom across the hall to just kind of get it together before the next class. And the last thing I remember was flicking on the light switch and then I wake up and my entire class is just staring at me through the door. My teacher is like, Emma, Emma. Also that day I was wearing a dress with no spandex and I'm pretty sure I flushed literally everyone. My dad gets a call like, your daughter just had a seizure in class, which is not true, I just passed out. So he has to come and they held up the entire next class to wait for him to come up. So I just caused a scene. And then the next day I show up and Somebody in my class is like, Emma, I heard you passed out yesterday, are you okay? Someone else is like, Emma, I heard you had a seizure yesterday, are you okay? And then someone else is like, Emma, I heard you died yesterday, are you okay? This is escalating so quickly. But enough of the digression. This morning, I had to go get my blood drawn. A woman immediately asked me, why do you look so terrified? And so I explain that I don't love getting my blood drawn. And she's like, oh, well, you don't pass out or anything, do you? And I'm like, no, actually I do. I have a 100% rate of passing out because I've gotten my blood drawn once and I passed out. She's like, all right, look over there and just keep talking to me. The worst part is like she was trying so hard to help me. She was asking about my life, which I knew that she didn't care about because she was super sassy when I first came in and she was just asking all these questions and I was like, lady, I'm passing out. I can't answer your questions. I don't think I actually 100% passed out. I can tell when it's coming. Like I'm not one of those people who are just like fine and then you wake up and you're like, wow, I guess I must have blacked out. I just go through it all. I'm like, I'm going down, I'm going down. It's like, it's like I'm on the Titanic, but I just like already know what happens. Is that normal? Should I see a doctor about that? I refuse to see any doctors if they make me get my blood work done. Screw that. I'm probably gonna call them up later today and be like, honestly, just test everything. And then I just won't go outside for the rest of my life so I won't be exposed to anything else and like that can just be the baseline forever. So the next thing I know, I'm lying on the ground. My head is on another nurse's shoes. I have like cold compresses just everywhere. <laughs> the nurse is like, is that your dad out there? And I was like, no. It's my boyfriend. And so I guess they sent him to go get me orange juice. He also got me a cookie. That's why I keep him around. And so yeah, I was just kind of lying on someone's feet and drinking orange juice and eating a cookie. It was kind of a morning well spent. That's why my day has already been so long and also why I'm just gonna stay here for the rest of my life and live in a bubble probably because I can't deal with medical stuff. That's it for today. Um, to all of you who have blood work coming up, good luck to you. I'm sure you will do better than me, um, because I just set a very low bar today. Go forth and donate blood and all that good stuff. It sucks that I'll never be able to donate blood, because I feel like I would need a transfusion if I ever did that. Okay. Bye!